In this video, we're going to talk about sacred words and how they can help your business. Sacred words is the fifth step in Patrick Hanlon's primal branding. Primal branding is the concept that there are primal codes instinctive in your brain that when they're activated, people become zealots for your brand. We want people to be brand obsessed with your brand, your, your product and your service. If you can turn clients and customers into followers and fans, you'll know that you've arrived with that. Sacred words are the words that are unique to your brand. Some examples might be Nike, just do it. Under Armour, protect this house. If your brand, your company has that type of a logo or that type of a slogan that people can say, that they can read and they can repeat, then you've got some sacred words started. Some of those other sacred words might be, for example, iPod, iPad, iPhone. Apple has created those sacred words to the point that other companies now are emulating that I before some tech product. Other companies also have sacred words that are pretty much unique to them. When a Tesla vehicle refers to supercharging, they're referring to a type of high-speed charger that they use to electrically charge their car. And Tesla fans, Tesla followers know that, whereas in a gas vehicle, a supercharger is a whole other thing, completely different. Incorporate sacred words into your company, into your brand, into your customer experience. Usually sacred words pop up as a matter of course. As you're doing business, there are things that you'll repeat often that your customers and clients will start to recognize. They'll hear them and they'll recognize them and be able to communicate with each other using your sacred words. And that is how you know you're starting to develop and grow a group that people will want to be a part of. If you want to learn more about next week's video, we're going to be talking about non-believers, which is always a part of creating a group, creating a family, creating a legion. Because once you define what you are, you're also starting to define what you are not. Click here to watch the next video on non-believers. Please like and subscribe for more content just like this, and we'll see you in the next video.